In this video, we'll be discussing about cystic fibrosis. The cystic fibrosis is an autosomal recessive disorder where affected gene is CFTR that is present on chromosome number 7. First of all, we will see what is the function of CFTR gene. We see the CFTR gene is present on DNA transcribes into mRNA via transcription process. And this all happens within the nucleus. After that, the mRNA is transported out of the nucleus and gets attached to the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Here on rough endoplasmic reticulum, the ribosomes take in the mRNA molecule and initiate the translation process. And through this translation process, we finally get the CFTR protein. So now we have the CFTR protein through this gene expression. This CFTR protein is a channel protein, chloride channel protein, on plasma membrane of epithelial cells. Now we have the CFTR protein that is present at RER. So from the site of synthesis that is from RER, it is transported to the plasma membrane of the cell where it will act as a channel protein and these CFTR protein channels are mostly present on epithelial cells. When we see the epithelial cell, the CFTR chloride channel protein is present in plasma membrane and inside of the cell we have chloride ions and water present. And to the outside of the cell, we see we have mucus on its surface, a thick mucus. But it's this CFTR protein which transports the chloride ions out of the cells and also draws water out of the cell through the process of osmosis. And with this transport, the mucus that's present on the surface of epithelial cell is thinned out. It maintains the viscosity of mucus. But things change here. When there is a delta F508 mutation in CFTR gene, at that time, the CFTR protein is absent in plasma membrane. The delta F508 mutation is the deletion of phenylalanine amino acid at 508 position on polypeptide chain. The F is the symbol for phenylalanine. So when there is delta F508 mutation in CFTR gene, the gene is transcribed well into the mRNA. We also get the CFTR protein from translation. Everything is going well till now. But only thing that lacks here is that CFTR protein is not able to get transported to the final destination, that's to the plasma membrane, due to some folding errors. So when there is absence of this transport channel in epithelial cells, there will not be any transport of chloride ions and water will not be drawn out of the cell, with which the secretions, with which the mucus, which are usually thin in a state, become thick. So what happens when the mucus becomes thick? We have like lung disease results from clogging of the airways due to the mucus buildup, which results in inflammation and there are several other conditions related to cystic fibrosis. Now let's see the genetics of cystic fibrosis. This being an autosomal recessive disorder, we'll need to have two mutated copies of same gene or allele in an individual in order to express itself. Let's say capital A denotes the normal CFTR allele, while as the a star denotes the mutated CFTR allele. Then within the individual, the possible conditions may arise as A A normal individual, when both the copies are normal, there may be A and A star individual, it's when one copy is normal, the other copy is mutated. This will give rise to normal individual, but this will be a carrier one. And finally we have A star A star individual, it's when both the copies are mutated. At that time, we have affected individual that has cystic fibrosis. This condition only arises when both the parents donates mutated allele. That's one from father, one from mother. So this is all about cystic fibrosis and it is genetics. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.